So we're going to help a little friend of mine try to make money online. His parents approached me saying, hey, I got this kid. He wants to make money online. Can you help him out? Now, I don't know the age limit about on selling online. Look, if you know, comment in the bottom. We're going to try to figure out a way this kid can buy a Tesla before his parents can. But I'm going to show you the product research techniques that I use to find high selling products that are winners. You don't have to have upfront costs or machinery because this can't kid ain't got nothing. So make sure to watch this video to the end to find the kind of result we found that he, this kid can do and uh, yeah, maybe buy himself a Tesla. I don't know. Hi guys, my name is Vlad. I'm the number one pet product store on Etsy and highest selling pet product store on Amazon handmade as of recording this video. So I know a thing or two about selling handmade products. Now, when this dad came over and he says, hey, and I asked a serious question, he says he likes to make fishing hooks. I'm like, great, this is literally, I'm literally the guy that you, you needed to come for for advice because making stuff is something I know because I operate a seven figure business on making stuff. So. I'm gonna help this guy out. But before I help him out, if you're new to this channel, making money online has never been more simple. I went to Walmart and got myself a $100 sewing machine, have no clue on how to sew. Anyways, with the stupid dinky sewing machine, I learned how to sew dog bandanas. And I went to Joann's, bought some fabric, sewed up some bandanas the way I could, and started selling it. Now, they are a piece of junk. I get it, I refunded a bunch of people, but I learned a bunch of things, made money along the way, got better, grew, and, and went off from there. So it has never been more simple. So make sure to subscribe, hit the bell notification, because I want to provide for you guys, at whatever level you are, the highest quality content that I can give you to scale your Etsy shop or handmade business. So make sure to subscribe, hit the bell, because sometimes I give you guys time sensitive information that you guys need to act on quickly. So make sure to hit that ding bell. All right, without any further ado. So I asked, like I said, I asked the dad or the kid, man, boy, I don't know what the age limit, I'm not gonna say, he's, <laughs> let's just say he's a, this man, this manly man. We're gonna, I asked him, say, what do you like to do? He said, I like to do fishing hooks. Uh, he's, he really, he's really into fishing. So that's great, awesome. So selling on Etsy will be his best bet. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to find a product, not necessarily a product. Obviously, fishing hook is a very broad product. We're going to find exact keywords that he can target on Etsy, where people are, what people are searching, and we're going to structure his little idea, or at least his passion, in a way that makes money. All right, let's jump on the computer. So let's just start looking around and see what the keywords are we're getting. So let's go fishing hooks. Let's go. Let's go trout fishing hooks all right let's see what we get let's go on let's also open up e-rank e-rank is a great platform now there is also a bunch of other ones i just i've just got e-rank i've been stuck with it it's a free platform you can buy the pro version i think i got the pro one but you can do all that i'm going to show you today on the free version i'm pretty sure all right so let's see one thing i want to look for is their sales of these um Etsy shop owners, are they getting movement? You know, and, and, and if they're not selling well, no matter how good the listing is, no matter how passionate you are, if you're gonna sell the same thing, you're gonna have the same fate. So trout hooks, let's see. I mean, think about it. If you rank on the top keyword trout hooks and nobody's buying them, you got no, look at that, 82 sales. Now, young stores are not a bad thing. If they just opened up last week and they got 82 sales, that's a good sign. But if they opened up, what is it, last year? Yeah, that's not a good sign. So this hook ain't selling. So we ain't, we ain't moving. Now, right now, we're just trying to figure out the keywords that we need to look for. So let's go. All right, so let's go on uh, tool. We're gonna do keyword explorer. Uh, we're gonna type in fishing hook fishing hook. So he says, now, by the way, he does say he likes to do this kind of stuff. Uh, he likes all this uh, winded up stuff. So we're going to type in here, we're going to fishing hooks, uh, just fishing. That's obviously doesn't tell us it's too broad. The average click through rate is pretty small. So we're already starting off with, with, uh, with not, not a good thing, but I'm going to show you how to find, how to redeem the keywords, fishing hooks. Um, let's go hand tied. Is that a word? Hand is that, did I spell it right? I'm really bad at spelling. Hand tied fishing hooks. Nothing here. Okay, fishing SVGs. We're not trying to do some graphic design. Yeah, we're not in a good place. Anyways, let's try to explore more keywords. Uh, dry wool, fly, fly fishing hooks. Oh, let's try this. Fly fishing. 
So we're, again, we're just trying to explore different kind of keywords that are popping up. Um, let's do, well, he's not going to do leather. So really not that much people selling. And that's, and when you see something that not a lot of people are selling, that also could be in the indicator side. There's a reason why not a lot of people selling because, um, okay. So this is Colorado fishing fishing. I feel like it's a, it's a, like a, like a store store that's just decided to go on Etsy. Let's see. Most recent, not that much reviews. Oh gosh. Yeah. Two, two years ago, 9,000 sales. Definitely not going to work. All right. So let's do, um, well, maybe specialized fishing hooks are not the thing, the way to go. Maybe fishing, fishing hook gifts could be a thing. Let's see. All right. Ooh, look at this. Okay. So we're getting something. We're getting somewhere. Um, more than blah, blah. Let's see. It's 25th anniversary. Ooh, so gifts, gifts. Uh, I mean, I, I'm wondering if you can use this as a gift while keeping it in your toolbox to remind of the wife that is at home waiting for you. Ah, 2015. Ah, not that good. Not smelling good. Now let's check out the competitors. All right, let's see. 66,000. Look at this. Look at this. 66,000 sales. All right. So, what, ooh, okay. So they haven't disabled the ability to show which products sell during the, now on Etsy, you can disable this feature, but they haven't because they're, they're losers. I'm kidding. They're not losers. Um, so their sell, well, let's, let's see what is their highest seller. So they, this is literally the sales they've been getting. Now it doesn't say the timeline, so we can't say if it's, if it's sold today or, or it's been sold in, in a month, but this heart, heart shape keeps coming up. So let's, let's just click on one of them. Now it's not one listing. I'm hooked on you. That's the, yeah, there it is. There it is. You've heard it. You've heard it folks. Okay. So one thing I'm going to look for, Ooh, this is actually a good sign. So September 13, September 9th, this is their rate of reviews. Now we've organized these reviews. The most recent, you guys know, I like to do this and we're seeing some movement. We're seeing reviews consistently coming in. And we, well, basically what we want to see is reviews coming in every single day. Now this one listing is it's coming in every, uh, the reviews coming in every four days, five days, which is nothing wrong because check this out. Look at this. They're getting, this is not the only product they're selling. They're also selling a bunch of this other stuff. So let's click on this. Let's see if they're also getting reviews every five, six days. So August. Yeah. So they're getting it. June, this one's a lot, lot less common, but they're still getting it. Um, let's try this one. So one thing I'm liking this store, September to, yeah. So they're getting, so they're consistently, I would say on the overall store, let's go with shop reviews. That's 10,000 reviews. We're going to organize. So September 14th. Oh yeah. Look at this. Look at this. I think this kid's getting a Tesla. All right. So you guys know that the reviews are a indicator of life for a listing. And if they're getting consistent reviews, that means they're getting consistent sales. And the ratio review per sales is usually one for five. It used to be one to five to 10. Now it's a little bit less because people are more generous and they leave reviews. People are getting, getting it. Um, so, which means this product is, uh, this guy is selling one, two. So he's probably selling five because he has two reviews here. Um, uh, two reviews here, two reviews here. So he's two reviews about 10, maybe 20 sales per day making this stuff. So custom lures. Boom. Let's check this out. Let's see if the competitors are having the same movement, same actions. All right. So there's not that much. Did I cost? Oh, it's one word. Let's see if his competitors are having the same movement. That means this is a product worth pursuing. So let's see, is this the same one? Oh, this is a competitor. Let's see if they're getting movement. Oh, look at that. It's a good store. Let's see if, uh, well, okay. First of all, let's make sure that he's selling similar items and then we can make the assumption that the store is making. All right. So they're not just selling hooks. They're just, they're selling a bunch of other stuff. That's fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to just, just for this item, look at this. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so this competitor is also having a great time. So on this product, what I'm gonna recommend for this kid, and I actually really like this store, and I'll tell you in a little bit when I see this happen. So this kid, what I would recommend is abandon the idea of making hooks like this. 
because they don't make money. There's not much movement. There's really not much people. Even if we let's just let's just say we click on this. Hey, did it, wait, there it is. Okay, so we go um, fly fishing. So if if we research this fly fishing, right? Fly fly fishing hooks, or and maybe there's not the and then this is Etsy's pick too. So and it's not doing well. And if we look at their their competitors, which is this guy, and he's also a loser store. That means we're just going to let this kid sit and not make any money. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to follow the examples of these people. What they do, what they decided to do, and I like this idea, is that you, you have the hook, you buy the soft metal, and then you hammer out the words, which means you only need a hammer and a little alphabet that you can buy online and start hammering out the personalizations on these hooks and Father's Day groomsman gift. So what I like about this listing is that you don't need that much equipment, you don't need that much upfront cost because these stuff, this stuff is light and easy to buy and you can personalize it. With, with personalized things, this is what happens. You cut China out of the picture. When you can personalize something, China can't send that in three days and they, I mean, sure they can make it for you but it'll take like months before you get your product. So obviously China's out of the picture which means your price can be higher. Look at this, 20 bucks, $20 for this darn personalized fishing guitar pick looking thing that this kid can do. Now, the, another reason why I like to take this approach saying, hey, forget the feathers, think about metal. The reason, personalized metal, the reason why he can do that is what this store is. And I like this idea because I've actually had this idea on one of the, uh, one of the videos um, before is personalized stethoscope ID tags. Now, if this kid has the equipment to do this, I'd be like, hey, just throw in a personalized stethoscope ID tag and you're going to get these bad boys selling. And you can see this guy really double down on those because they sell well. Um, now, you don't, again, let's, let's, let's make sure that we also focus on the passion of this kid. But look how much, look how double down this store is on um, are these ID tags. That's, that's crazy. So if we, if we go and we go on, oh, they disable. See, they're a smart store. But anyways, if we go on reviews and we're just going to go the overall store, look how much sales they're making. 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. Look, this guy's just pumping out orders on just ID tags. So what I would recommend for this kid, look, say, hey, look, kid, I know you got your passions. I know you like fish and whatnot. You could start off with that, and it makes really good money. These things, you can sell about 10, 15, maybe even 20 of these hooks per day. Now, you can do different variations. You can do Father's Day. You can do groomsman gift. You can do personalized or custom text for Father's Day, whatever. Um, you can do several listings of this, and this is a great place to start. Start off with this passion, but you can have you have the opportunity to expand to stethoscope ID tags. That's right. You can do that, and then you can keep going further. Dog tags, and I know from personal experience, dog tags are a great. Uh, product to sell on Etsy don't have to have heavy-duty equipment this kid is getting a Tesla what we did is we took the passion of this kid we structured it a little bit different go into the gifting side of that same thing and go on Etsy where you don't have to have that much you know back-end stuff like barcodes and whatnot you don't have to have that much equipment to start doing this and it has movement people are searching for this let's say you know what let's go back on it personalized fi fishing hook fishing lures now Etsy's uh, e-rank is not always good at um, giving us the data, but maybe on this one. Oh, look at that. We got movement. Personalized fishing lures. Okay, fishing lures. Hey, that's really good. Um, competition's not that bad. Look at that. Click through rate is pretty good. Okay, search volume. That's fine. This is not accurate. E rank is not always accurate with their description. If, the, if it's showing this is pretty high volume or fishing lures is high volume, this is also might be higher volume than E rank shows and we've found the live data especially on this one that these guys are getting movement so with this combined and e-rank showing us there's some movement good click-through rate this kid can start doing really well with personalized fishing lures um and then he has there he's not stuck because he has room to grow he can personalize other things he can expand his store so he can make really really well with just a hammer some alphabet chisels i would recommend different fonts and yeah this kid's getting a tesla so if you have a passion or product idea comment on the bottom maybe i can do a video on helping you structure your business so hopefully you found this video to be useful also make sure to like this video leave me a tip it's kind of like a youtube version of a tip and subscribe if you have not yet hit the bell notification and i'll see you next time